Welcome to Kyoto Guitar. So today we're going to turn this into this. Okay, so here we do. We've got this uh, nice neck off the machine. Um, going here, getting ready to reshape this ugly boat paddle headstock. But before we do anything, I need to start leveling and making sure that all these frets um, are level. And so what I've done is I've taken it out and I've got uh, the truss rod here. And I've made my own um, little machine here to go over. And I'm going to try to look at this with one hand as we go through this. But, um, and try to get the fretboard level Get this out of the way. And, and I've done a pretty good job um, you can buy a tool for this I made my own because I just didn't have one at the present time and I will probably buy one in the future uh, but here you can look and you can try to find and make sure that the fretboard is level and it's flat and it looks like it's pretty good here where we're at. And, and there's no gap there. So let's go ahead and, and move to that. The next thing we want to do is try to make sure that we have no rocking frets. And this is really, really hard to do while I'm uh, on holding the camera. And these are looking like they're pretty good. No rocking there. So once you've got this all set up and you've got it all taped up, you can take your front leveling file and we'll go ahead and give that a nice quick leveling by just moving this back across here. Okay, so we've got all the thing masked, the fretboard masked, and I've <clears throat> leveled it with, with the crown as you saw earlier. I've now marked all the tops of the frets as you can see here frets with a with a sharpie marker right oh, sharpie type marker i'm then going to go ahead and use my file and we will go ahead and file these off okay so we've now gone through and we've actually crowned and flat, crowned, leveled, and did the edges on these. Maybe I can zoom in on it for you. Eh, not so bad, yeah. Now it's time to polish them. For this, I'm gonna try these crimson polishing erasers and hopefully they'll work good. I've never used them before, so let's just see how they go. All right, so I went ahead and polished these and they're looking pretty good. So let's see what we can do with this fretboard. We'll get that headstock taken care of and we'll continue on with this build. I need to move this. Okay. 
Uh-huh. Hmm? I said, uh-huh. Mm. So the beloved, most fun part about building a guitar is the sanding. Everybody loves the sanding. Comment below if you love the sanding. The scale of one to ten, how much you love the sanding? One. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so missed a little bit here. We are going ahead and got the stain on the body. This is the pick guard we're going to use. Going with the EMG pickups here. Um, but wouldn't you know that the holes, they're narrower than the pickups that were originally on there. So I had to, if you can see in here, fill the... Uh, holes that were there and I'm getting ready to go ahead and re-drill those. So let me go ahead and do that and we'll just keep you in the loop as we go ahead and do this install. Thank you. Okay so decisions are needing to be made um, is to use the carpal foil or to use what I picked up recently here which is this uh, um, shielding paint and looking at the shape of the size of this cavity I think I'm going to go with try the shielding paint to see how it works. Um, we'll see. I'll give it a check. Um, going on. Well, got the paint on. Let it dry right now. It goes on really, really thick. Um, overall, I kind of like it. Just more of advice. If you're going to use this, uh, this paint, don't try to, don't try to use a brush that, uh, you're going to want to keep because, um, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's no cleaning it afterwards. Also, I wonder in a lot of ways if a spatula might not have worked better than a brush because um, it goes on really, really thick, uh, but it's the way it's supposed to. So we'll see how it works and, uh, and then we move on. Okay, well, it's the next day and I've got this thing put together last night for the most part. Uh, you can see here that we have decided to go with the high mass bridge. That was by my family's uh, request. Nice uh, pick guard. May not be your style, but I, I like it. I like the old um, sci-fi themes. And again, headstock is is put together. Um, decided to go, as, you said, as I told before, we went with the EMG uh, active pickups. Um, it's the first time I ever had an active pickup, so we had to do a little bit of research. Required me to put in this beautiful, um, well, not so beautiful uh, battery box. Decided to go with a nine volt system. Uh, no need to to go uh, with 18 volts, even though it has the capability of doing so. Um, I'll put a link in below to these uh, EMG pickup kit because it comes with everything you need to hook it up. Comes with the the volume tone pots. Comes with the uh, the j stereo jack. All this is. Um, Quick and easy to wire. The wires are there. 
Um, it even came with a lot of extra parts. Um, right now it's set up as a regular P-Base, but if I wanted to, if I wanted to set it up for um, putting a jazz style bit, uh, pickup into it as well, I could add another control knob, volume knob, which didn't come with the kit, but this nice little bus here did come with a kit that allows me to hook everything up as I needed, even with a nice little switch here. So it's a great kit, comes with everything you need to, to get set up with the active system. Um, now it's just time to get the string to set up. Um, I decided to go ahead and go with the round wound strings for now. The, uh, we'll try the flat strings later, uh, but that's let's let's get stringed up. Okay, well, there she is. She's all stringed up, hooked up, tonated, string heights checked. Now it's all that's left is to hear her sing. Okay, so here's Paola Pedranti. Here she's going to uh, demo the uh, the bass for you. Personally, I've only been playing the bass for two months, and I gave it a shot, and it didn't sound so hot. So here she goes. She's going to play this for you a little bit, give you a little idea of how it sounds. Um, since she played the original one, it makes a good comparison. Thank you for uh, watching my video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, I surely had fun making it, uh, and it's a learning process for us here at uh, Coyote Guitars. Um, please, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and remember, once I reach 100 subscribers, one lucky person will get this nice acoustic tuner. Um, thank you, and we will see you next week.